if you use the fifth dimension. It's outside of the rules we know of time and space. So, the ant arrives in my hand instantaneously. So you fall to space? More likely wrinkle it. Where are we? We heard a cry out in the universe. My father's alive. We believe he is, and we're here to help you find him. We are in search of war. This week, Cinema Sisters will be reviewing A Wrinkle in Time Flappy Books. This movie is about the story of Meg Murray, Charles Wallace, and Calvin O'Keefe as they go on a journey to rescue Dr. Alex Murray, Meg, and Charles' father. It's a dangerous mission, and it's also to stop the it from spreading. There are three witches in this story. These witches are part of the galaxy. Um, they pretty much live in the star, and they're like billions of years old. They don't look like old grains. So there's a Miss Witch who thinks that Meg shouldn't have been brought to the mission, and that Meg just because Meg asks questions about everything. Miss um Witch is she has a really hard time like materializing into like human size and form. A lot of times she just looks like a giant person, but she is probably the wisest one of the group. And then Miss Who, she is so old, she's so many billions of years old that she lost the power to speak for herself. So now she speaks using other people's words to use what she wants to say. My favorite character would be um, Miss Watsik. She was just really funny and I really liked her. Um, my favorite character was Calvin because I think that he's really a key part in the story. Even though he, he didn't really know Dr. Murray, he still went on the mission. I would watch um, in this movie for ages. Six and up. Um, it was just mostly um, funny and um, nice, but in some parts, it just got a little sad and scary. I'd recommend this movie for ages. This is gonna sound really weird, but six and a half and up, because um, th there are some parts that could be a little scary, like the man with the red eyes, so you didn't like that man, I but there. But it's a really good movie, and it teaches you a bunch of lessons. Like you have to like yourself to be able to change the world. You can't change the world if you don't like yourself. You have to appreciate who you are and everything that is cool about you. There were a lot of differences from the movie to the book, but the, the, still, the essential parts of the story were still in the movie, like where um. Meg finds her father, where Charles Wallace is um, taken over by the man with red eyes and gives in to the it, where um, Meg meets Calvin and they become quickly friends. I would rate this movie five, mostly the popcorn, but half. Five four and a half. half. Five and a half. You can't do five and a half. Five and a half platforms because it was just really well acted and cool and mystical and um, very fancy and I like fancy. I rate this movie five popcorns square because you can't do five and a half because it was just a really well acted movie. It was super super good. Um, tune in next week when we review another movie. And um, if you'd like to contact us, please visit us at info at cinemasisters.org. And um, if you'd like to subscribe to our YouTube channel, go to YouTube and type in Cinema Sisters. And we hope you have a lovely week. Goodbye! You really need to watch out for those flappy books next time. Otherwise, you're going to hit you. And you don't want that to happen. Otherwise, you're going to a witch. Actually, that would be kind of fun. By the way, to our